been a long time coming, but the squad builder challenges are back. What's up, buddies? Welcome to, I guess, just another event or another video on the channel. Obviously, all part of the Whatever Dude uh, RTG or series, but a standalone video, very similar to the past and present squad builders. However, this is a future stars squad builder challenge where we take on the weekend league with a full future star squad or as full of a squad as i can manage while keeping the chemistry reasonable which is exactly what we managed to do here today so i'm very excited i want to walk through the squad builder with you guys which is exactly what you're going to do um this is going to be like a long process so if you do end up seeing this on youtube just know that this is taking like two or three days of compiling all the gameplay obviously compiling all the clips and putting it all together so if you enjoyed it smash the like button i mean it's going to take a hell of a lot longer than the usual standard like 6 p.m video where we just upload the reaction to the content a few packs a few saved packs etc etc so if you do enjoy this level of content or this level of effort a thumbs up obviously subscribe to the channel if you aren't already follow the twitch channel of course as well we're live streaming all of this stuff 8 to 12 hours a day on twitch.tv slash nick 28t so without further ado let's walk you guys through our first like essentially squad builder challenge of the year being the future stars challenge so it's gonna be a four two three one squad our right dm is the very very anticipated tonali we picked him up for 1.2 million which is an absurd price unfortunately the price of these future stars um are the ones that are worthwhile getting are absolutely astronomical nevertheless i i was saying even while i was really angry at ea's silly implementation of no proper weak footer skill move upgrades and no proper work with with work rates etc i was annoyed by that but i did say from the beginning that i thought that this tonali is absolutely going to be one of the best center uh, cdms in the game if not the best like if i look at these stats to me he competes with ngolo kante's team of the year and vieras uh prime or Vieira's mid card so with a shadow he's only on nine chem right now so once he gets to um uh to 10 chem he should be good to go or uh, a little bit better to go in that regard but incredible stats man 90 standing tackle 92 defensive awareness 96 interceptions insane stamina is great strength is great aggression's great all of his dribbling is fantastic for a dm then you go to the 99 uh the 99 acceleration and then of course the 92 sprint speed at right cdm as much as i love calvin phillips uh his league sbc card i'm very excited about this tonali so moving on into the striker role the newly uh released keen obviously a bit irritated at just what i mentioned the fact that he's still just medium medium and still three star three star is a bit resident sleeper in terms of um his actual stats and i think his usability i'm very spoiled on the the big boy team right we've got player of the month ben yetter five star four star we've got fud headliner neymar five star five star we've got um team of the year mbappe right four star five star we got team of the year messi four star four star so these guys are insane and that's one of the things about this foot champs challenge and if i didn't explain it what we're going to be trying to do in the foot champs challenge is seeing exactly how many games it takes for me to reach gold three so do we ball out do i go 14 and 2 or 14 and 3 or something and have an incredible weekend with a relatively well basically a completely new team of all future stars players or do we have an abysmal weekend and it's not the top players and stuff and i'm not good enough to make these types of players play well maybe we go like 14 and 10 who really knows right but that is going to be the challenge and then if you guys do enjoy it i'm not going to say every weekend we're going to do it because this is going to take a long time to put together so depends on the work uh involved however if you guys do enjoy it i'm thinking we do that and bring back the past and present squad builders with but champ challenges so we do a past and present barcelona squad see how many games it takes us to get gold three we do a you know past and present french national team see how many games it takes us to get gold three whatever the new promo that comes out next team two right but champs team two all right how many um games does it take us gonna to get gold three and we can almost have an excel spreadsheet of like all right but champ squad team one with a link to the picture of the squad and how many games and then through the year we can see really like are there any squad builders we do that we go 14 and 0 i've only done 14 and 0 once or twice this year and it was on you know the big boy account so just to explain that out before we get deeper into the uh squad builder moving on keen is going to be our outright striker in a 4 2 3 1 i'm going to show you guys the squad show you guys how everything lays out the instructions etc in a little bit but i wanted to kind of like piece this all uh out together first so balance agility 
ball control, even reactions, dribbling, composure, finishing, attack positioning, incredible. Now I am anticipating to be frustrated very much by Keen because of the, not even the work rates. I don't mind my striker to be on medium, medium. Um, but the weak foot specifically is I know going to piss me off. I really like having dynamic, unpredictable attackers where if I'm forced onto my left foot and I have an opportunity to shoot, I want to be able to shoot, right? Being forced onto his left foot, shooting with his left foot is probably not going to be the best idea. Nevertheless, outside of that, his stats look incredible. And I, I hope I can make, get the best use out of him as possible. Cool dynamic image too. Now, one of the links that are going to be needed in the team is a young Stevie G. So ironically this is technically a future stars uh stevie g and to make the links work i think i'm going to try and do that not just get the psychotic best possible icons but pick out young icons if you will that i guess in that time were future stars of their own i know it's a bit of a stretch but unfortunately i need to throw in some icons in some places to keep the team a respectable chemistry cvg will be our left attacking dm i knew you guys would be happy about this one so we played an astronomical price of 811,000. I don't even want to look at these prices right now. I think by the time I'm done this squad, when I go to sell these players, I'll probably have lost a million coins. So I used about 5 million coins to buy this team. I would be shocked if I came away with 4 million by the end of it. Nevertheless, the same irritating thing with Keen was the irritating upgrades with Gabriel Martinelli everybody telling me to shut up that he's an amazing card people were mad that obviously i was that critical of ea being donkeys and making him three star three star instead of making him a usable four star four star something along those lines or high medium work rates or something nevertheless everybody's telling me he's really good so um i'm assuming i'm gonna hate this card but hey going from a five star five star neymar to a three star three star martinelli is not going to be good nevertheless we're doing our best with what we can and a sniper chem style as well is going to make him fantastic 99 finishing 93 attack positioning is incredible his long passing is awful uh short passing curve and vision are respectable but the long passing is going to let me down because he's playing our wide left cam roll okay in the four two three one ball control fantastic dribbling fantastic composure 65 that's gonna be fun um reactions of 69 kappa and balance obviously is fantastic for 92 agility fantastic for 99 strength is actually all right now one of the things i want just just and this is the only time i'm really going to bring this up again and let myself get angry for no reason but to those of you guys that called me a twat okay because you saw me lose my mind when they took his 48 composure silver card to 60 composure so many people like dude you don't even understand how this game works aj3 and all these other content creators ea devs themselves said they can't super juice one specific stat they have to stay within a range of anywhere from 10 to 15 to maybe 20 boosted stats all right you're crying too much and it's it's ridiculous and whatever so riddle me this geniuses this card this is gonna blow your mind if you didn't even think about this just oh, oh my god i'm so excited if you didn't think about this this base card silver so the silver card the base card has 59 heading okay so news flash they gave him 40 upgrades to 99 heading on his heading for his future stars card yet something that is clearly so important they gave 12 upgrade on his composure 40 on heading to take him to 99 12 to take him to 60 composure on his composure stat so that goes out the window nevertheless i'm gonna move on i'm just prepared to hate this card i hope i'm pleasantly surprised but we'll see mason mount is something that initially i was irritated that ea did not update his skill moves weak foot or anything similarly however on further inspection i kind of understand why this card is so expensive and again i probably lost my shirt this guy's probably 200k now or something like that but um high medium work rates fantastic for a central cam that's exactly where he's playing he's playing at central cam for us in the 4231 very influential position as you guys know depending on how i play lots of goals lots of assists for my central cam four star weak foot very good three star skills isn't great but for a central cam it's not the end of the world the four star weak foot is very very important if you go to the stats though it's a different story i don't feel you need to boost his acceleration or sorry his his pace at all for a central cam it's very very good very useful and then you look at the rest of his stats i know his strength isn't great that's the one thing that a lot of people are going to point out but 
I use a lot of weak players, and I, I don't seem... I mean, I, dude, I use Ibra, and Ibra gets shoved over and bullied by Lorenzo Insigne from behind. So, strength and, and, and stature means nothing in this brokenly coded game. Moving on. Passing... Oh, Leeds are going to concede again, aren't they? Wow, the Wigan player bottled it. I don't know how this Leeds game is one nothing, man. I, I I shouldn't have this Leeds game on because it's going to ruin parts of this episode or parts of this episode, I guess, or parts of this video or parts of this stream. Nevertheless, passing stats are incredible. In my opinion, you don't need to upgrade them. They're fantastic, dude. 92 curve, 94 vision, 92 short passing, 87 long passing is insane. And then with a sniper chem style, sniper chem style is quickly becoming one of my favorite um, chem styles. This guy's lights out as a cam, man. I think he's a 93 rated cam with a sniper, maybe even a 94 rated cam. 95 dribbling, 96 ball control, 88 reactions, 86 composure, fantastic. Um, then 91 balance and 99 agility. This is where I hope I don't get disappointed. I am really excited to use this guy really excited like this card i'm hoping is lights out good then this guy i'm expecting he's gonna be awful we'll see right now moving on a right cam which maybe isn't the best idea because ea in their infinite wisdom have bottled it again um and as i've mentioned the annoying parts are that they didn't upgrade the the, the skill moves they didn't upgrade the work rate specifically this guy's going to play my right cam and I was really excited about this guy because he has the five-star weak foot. And as you can see, his stats are outrageous. I think I'm probably making a mistake using him as a right cam. I would assume he'll be much better as a, like a main go-to striker because of the weak foot, because of his size. But that's why I'm a little bit irritated. Why do they have him as six foot two? We checked yesterday. This guy's five foot 11. Like, do they not do the basics? And I think... Even on career mode, he's 5'11". And yet, on this game, they made him... On foot, uh, Ultimate Team, sorry, they, they made him 6'2". Absolutely ridiculous. So, unfortunately, that's going to be a downside. Tall players just inevitably end up feeling very clunky in the way this game is coded. Doesn't really matter what their agility and balance and stuff is and dribbling stats are. Now, unfortunately, I do have to use him. He will be on 7 chem, so these stats will actually get even better. If he was 5'11", I genuinely think he would be a fan... 5'11 and maybe a high medium, because obviously your cams, you want to move around. You don't want them just standing there being medium, medium. But if he was 5'11", maybe had a little bit better work rates, I think he would be an outstanding right cam, right? In that Lionel Messi role, five-star weak foot, 88 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. I don't think you need to touch that. His his shooting with a sniper, I mean, you could make an argument here that you give this guy an engine, and I might give this guy an engine because I didn't really pay attention to the fact that his attack positioning is 91, his finishing is 90, his shot power is 90, and his long shots are 87. Like, that's very good as it is. So this guy might benefit from an engine, specifically you know he'll go up to like the 90 balance or whatever he'll go up to still the 99 agility or 98 agility the only thing is composure won't go up with an engine but it's a great card and again yet someone else that i hope is very good because his initial stats i was really excited about but i'm wondering if mid game or at halfway at halftime if he feels horribly clunky and like completely out of his depth at right cam and keen isn't playing well what we might do is we might put greenwood out up top at central striker and then we'll figure out something with keen i've got su i've got super subs as well that should be future stars it'll make sense in a second moving on another link needed in this whole system is essentially baby roberto carlos i'm not even going to explain it again but nevertheless i need some players in there that are um icons to make the links work now this guy i can't find anything that's wrong with this dude in any way shape or form i am very excited to use him unfortunately i was only able to get him on 8 cam or he will be on actually i think he is on 8 cam or he will be on 8 cam um so work rates are fine weak foot is fine height is fine we reviewed him a little bit in an ep a couple episodes ago on the uh whatever dude rtg but he's fantastic man all across the board even with the seven cam or six cam or whatever cam he's on right now 83 sprint speed 81 acceleration those dribbling short passing long passing stats the vision fantastic dude and then you look at what the anchor does to his physical stats and his defending incredible a lot of people looked at his stamina and said oh it's going to be terrible defenders don't need stamina this is one of the few cards especially for his price considering he's 200k 
I think this is a fantastic card and a card where the Bundesliga doesn't have that many amazing uh, center back so imagine building a Bundesliga squad where you eventually get yourself the um, Akanji from the storyline and this guy as your back line so cool man love it so I I'm excited I hope this guy doesn't disappoint again future stars Rio Ferdinand um, is someone that we are throwing into the team for links and then at right back we've got Mr. A A Rons himself I'm really excited to use him. A lot of people saying he's going to be terrible, but I think with a um, anchor, he looks very good. Three star, three star, high medium work rates, 510. Um, and yeah, anchor just makes him fantastic. I love the agility on balance on him and he's got 90 composure. So 80 reactions might be the one concern in uh, in this entire card, but everything else seems fantastic. Sure, his jumping and heading isn't great, but at wide right back, like attacking up the field and stuff like that, I don't know how much defensive heading or offensive heading I'm going to need. So 91 aggression, fantastic. 72 strength, not great. 95 stamina, fantastic. 97 defensive awareness, amazing. 96 standing tackle, amazing. I don't really care. I never mentioned slide tackles because who cares? Um, interceptions, 85, maybe that's another slightly weak spot. But outside of that, man, 88 crossing, 92 um, short passing, 76 long passing, 72 vision, maybe not the best, but overall very, very good. And then of course, because we do not have a goalkeeper in goal, we have Edwin Vandersar's baby card as well. So there is the full squad. I think it looks beautiful. I'm sure there's going to be some guys that doesn't matter what I do. They're not going to be happy, but some guys that cry about having a few icons in the team, but it's the way it is. We got ourselves a hundred chem and then the sub bench. Now I'm going to use really, I mean, it's not really a future star. It's a star, but someone like Kylian Mbappe, I'm probably going to use relatively sparingly because I do want to get the best experience out of these guys specifically. However, a young and or uh future star or current future star present moments mbappe is there awar um is young um uh, and i think someone at central cam or as the box to box mid like if stevie g is just annoying we can actually bring on a a future star again if you want to consider a current star nevertheless uh we can bring on an awar tammy as well tammy's on the cusp of being part of like a future star setup i don't know if that's necessarily even something that I, I would agree with i think 1997 is going to be the age the limit i was thinking like 98 and above for like quote unquote future stars caliber players but nevertheless um tammy's there hernandez um obviously a a a, a young star and or in the running for a future star got a very good card as it is so again if i'm having some troubles maybe as I mentioned earlier, Greenwood can go up top. This guy can go wide right. Got a four-star weak foot. Got great work rates. Nice and short. So can be our burner down the line um, in case we need it. And then this guy is... I know I've only used him for 10 games. Uh, obviously, I would say a future star, upcoming star. But he's just fantastic outright. I hope you guys didn't do Caceres. And those of you guys that listened to my advice did this guy. Because he's lights out. Lights out. With 10 chem. Without 10 chem. Whatever, man. The, the the work rates the height the weak foot so good man so good so again maybe if i'm feeling like a little bit fruity a little bit spicy maybe at halftime we take off rio and bring on tomiyasu to have yet another future star in there and then the boys that we want to see getting future stars obviously a left back alfonso davies like 88 89 rated would be my dream he'd replace marcelo in my dream team and i'd figure out a way to get him into this setup um as well maybe next week's uh future stars two squad we try and fit a davies in if he gets one and then there's got to be a chelsea player i think it's going to be tamori that gets it either as an SBC this week maybe today maybe tomorrow or um potentially uh for future stars two but i would love to see hudson adoy man and again if they pulled their heads out of their asses they made hudson adoy four star four star he's already got high medium work rates he's 510 He's got good base stats. Unfortunately for all of us, he doesn't have the best composure to start with. So we could probably hope for like about 80 composure on a future stars Hudson Adoy, but that's still good. This guy's got amazing base stats. And that's now with these types of upgrades and these types of promotions, you have to pray to God that players are, that are getting boosted cards have good base stats on their cards so that EA's lazy content team can then just boost them generically for plus 15 or plus 20 and those stats that are important to us get nice boosts so Hudson Adoy could be a cool one but either way 
these are the bench those are the players this is the squad i'm going to show you guys the custom tactics real quick as well so the hold on for dear life setup is going to be a 4-4-2 formation um with the team set up like this so gerard tonali martinelli mount out wide and then greenwood and keen up top again with the super subs if we need to um and then we've got two different attacking setups so the first one's going to be a, a pretty pretty aggressive 4 one 2 one two uh in this layout very similar to the 442 if anything just you, you, you tighten it up a little bit i think it could be good and i'm going to use that formation if like i'm having trouble scoring this is going to be as you guys saw the main um the main setup so i'm gonna go with not the heaviest depth i usually would play with a setup like this that's usually my go-to in fact sure why don't i start like this and if i find myself getting counter-attacked we'll um we'll make adjustments and that's the setup so Roberto carlos mr kabak ferdinand a aarons and then we've got stevie g and tonali martinelli wide left as mentioned mount through the middle greenwood wide right and keen as the main focus i think out of everybody you guys are probably looking at the position that i'm in doubt with as well with greenwood being six foot two out wide i'm hoping he does perform for us so without further ado we now got to get into the hell that is champs and let's see how things go so i would assume i'm gonna try and laser focus during the champs gameplay try and not be toxic make this a relatively enjoyable experience for this uh for this video and for this weekend stream so what i'll probably do is you guys will see like the squad i come up against highlights of the goals but without me really talking and then i will give you guys my thoughts at the end of each game so when the final whistle blows i'll like pause all the music and stuff like that and then we'll do like a one minute recap of the game maybe a two minute recap of the game and then we'll do that all the way through 15 games or 20 games or 25 games however many it takes us um to get hopefully gold three let's get into it how do ea screw up basic things like a player's height yeah I, i'm not entirely sure man 91 chem huh okay first game of the weekend i mean it's sweaty ish tony cruz is a bit weird costa's a bit weird very one-dimensional players but all right gotta focus up boys see see how we do man I think that's lights out i think that's lights out dude game one yes let's go boys all right well um martinelli did score game one which is cool uh mason mount though mason mount though martinelli got a goal and an assist all right i mean that guy was relatively useless so let's let's wait we got a lot of gameplay to go so you can't just be um super 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 excited off of one game but i'll take that man solid start mason mount is the real deal absolutely that, that's at least the way it feels the game felt very clunky but even then solid okay i guess this guy's working towards odegaard that's not a team that will walk through it's not the usual foot champ sweat though so i'm grateful that it's just not the usual sweat it's a relatively interesting team let's go boys uh <laughs> or not all right well 
that was um, game number two. Again, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some of those goals we scored were absolutely orgasmic. The low driven goal with Martinelli felt so nice, dude. I saw the spot, went L1, R1, picked my angle, fired it, and it went like exactly where I aimed it to, which feels weird to have the game do what you command. Um, Moise Keane with an assist, Jared with two, Bobby Carlos with one. Goals from Greenwood, Mount two, Martinelli two. But it is the honeymoon period, boys. So, hey, two games in doesn't doesn't mean anything. Once we get to like 7-0 and or whatever, you know, 7 ELO, maybe 10 ELO, that's when things get really... And then the obviously the stream snipers, snipers start popping up. That's when things will get crazy. Right now, we're just, we're just having... Unbelievably, we're having a bit of fun. All right. Game three, boys. There we go. First test of the day. This is sweaty. This is sweaty. That Gattuso and that, uh, what is it? That headliner, Delaney or whatever, holding up. This is a, definitely a 4-2-3-1 squad as well. So let's see. Does the honeymoon survive this game? That was a terrible game. Connection-wise, you could tell that guy just had a better connection. All my players moving around in mud, but okay. The fact that even in the worst delay ever, we created that second goal. Oh my God, dude. Wow. Yeah, see? 4-2-3-1 sweaty setup as well. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I don't know how exactly I got one shot on target and two goals, but... I guess that goal was off the post, right? D my question, I guess, at the end of this game then is, does Martinelli have a five-star weak foot? No, because he missed a terrible chance, an easy chance with a th with his weak foot. That shot across body with his left, man, I just, all I was doing there was to try and fire that at the keeper and hope for a rebound. And what does he do? Ping it far post, it, off the post and in. Do I like the team? So far, so good. Again, it, it, this doesn't really matter. I feel like I'm repeating myself a thousand times over, but it doesn't matter, dude. This is just the beginning. Oh, my sweet heavens. Oh, there's Chris. Oh, wow. So that's a 4-2-3-1, but even sweatier because he's got the shot. He's definitely got his two DMs on stay back. He's got the rat badge as well. Okay. Okay. 3-0 and right now with the Future Stars squad. Oh, I... Hopefully we can try and make it 4 no. That right there, my boys, is a proud win. That right there is a proud win. Not only was this guy an ultra sweat, took off a shadow Futmas Sanchez for Conte, sitting with 10 players behind the box, trying to counter me with Ronaldo and Mertens and whatever. But that again is yet another connection, which is a nightmare. You could tell actually that this guy had button delay as well. You could see like when I'd make a tackle or a pass, the player would just freeze and then do the tackle um right same thing for him he'd he'd try and play the ball inside and then his ronaldo would like take an extra touch so i could come and make an easy tackle that was terrible gameplay carlos l i don't know what his name was but anyways very good performance from the boys i'll say this right now the two was it both goals from moise keen dude moise keen as long as you don't need to dribble <laughs> and you don't need to shoot on his weak foot oh my god he feels like Remember Balotelli back in like the, the Euros? He had a purple card in foot. It was so good. I think Balotelli had better skills in weak foot anyways. But Moise Keane feels like the young Balotelli of the, that Euro year in Ultimate Team. He's that, he's that dominant. Like that second goal where he just shoved off PK like under full pressure and then bang finessed it with a Ter Stegen flying at him or sorry, a Van der Sar, uh, Van der Sar flying at him. Woo. 
GG, man. GG. 4-0. That, that, that was a true test. That was a true test of the team, man. For sure. For sure. Kabak and Tonali and Aarons dealt with that counterattack setup very, very well, man. Very happy with that performance. So, midway through... <coughs> well, not midway through our games, but undoubtedly midway through this uh, Future Stars Squad Builder Challenge in Champs, we've had to make some changes, boys. They brought out one of my favorite players from last year in a new position as a beautifully super juiced card as well of course we had to get him so the canadian marcelo now instead of the canadian messi will be in the dream team as you guys saw i i would assume from one of the epis if you pay attention to the youtube channel i suppose um but specifically he's also well i, I guess again you could consider him a current star but he fits part of the future stars setup beautifully so i wanted to restructure the team to get him in there and thanks to kabak it's not too difficult. The only thing I had to do is replace Steven Gerrard with Socrates, the doctor, his baby version, uh, to get uh, Martinelli on proper chemistry. Now, this guy with a Guardian is an 88 rated left back. So very excited about that. I know a lot of people hate on this card or, you know, he's too expensive, but I'm biased and I'm just happy that there's original cool players being added into the game that actually are usable that we can do something different. So it's not just the same flashback Marcellos and Albas and, and Futmus Mendes that you're going to see in people's teams, right? I'm now able to use someone I like a lot in real life. He's a Vancouver boy as well, just like I am with immigrant parents, just like me. So I love the dude. And he's an absolute sweetheart of a guy. And he's doing just, he's just doing lights out stuff at Bayern right now. So the pride of Canada for sure, going to be in our team for a long time. And I'm hoping he plays very well. So I'm excited to use him in the squad. The squad doesn't change. The back line stays exactly the same in the 4-2-3-1. Mason Mount, the central cam. Socrates will be our attacking left DM. Of course, Tonelli will be our DM. Martinelli, wide left. Uh, the beast that is Keen as of right now, main striker. And then Greenwood as the right cam. And yeah, so far loving the team. But I wanted to update you guys with this setup midway through everything. Let's keep going. Ooh, that's a cool team. Oh, that's a really cool team. He's got Davies too. Ooh, I like this. Okay. It's going to be it's going to be what champs always is, boys. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Let's go. That Aguero and that De Bruyne freak me out, man. And if he goes into a sweaty 4-2-3-1 with Kanté and Frankie as the DMs, this is going to be this is going to be exciting to say the least. This, this game right here, the last two games, are exactly what FUT Champs is all about. Just playing in button delay, playing against guys that just park the bus, but then if they go down, they then just pass it around forever, holding onto possession forever. Um, you know, going constant pressure, overload ball side. I went overload ball side as well to stop him from freaking fisting me as well. Um, but yeah, that that's Champs, unfortunately. As much as we want to have fun with these uh, challenges unfortunately because the game is so dead and they constantly allow these broken overpowered mechanics to be a thing it really makes playing this game boring it really does really 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 boring but anyways the good news is we're five and oh i gotta say socrates doesn't feel that good man in that in that stevie g rude hullet in that role he really doesn't feel that great so i think i might have some troubles with him I, I'm going to keep playing and keep using him. Um, he's got big, long legs. So even though he's got terrible defensive stats, if you're in control of him, he does end up winning the ball a lot. The problem is, is the second you click off of him, he's he's just nowhere to be found defensively, right? And that obviously is um, is a big issue. So I don't know, maybe if like I get a, a good two or three goal lead, we bring on, um, I was thinking of bringing on Awar, honestly in that exact same role and in that exact same position obviously still not a god defensively but much better uh than the doctor so let's keep it going i hate when i see that stuff load in slow it's a big concern for me man 
GG Nori FC. It's a pretty cool little squad, actually. I, I really like how he built it all, like, put it all together. That's a really nice team. I knew this type of gameplay was coming here. The last two games that I barely won were would could have easily ended just like this game, dude. You can just see this guy's team's his Zeko literally sprinting up the field, spinning, doing like 45 degree, 180 degree, looking away, spin through balls, Messi one touch, banging it across goal. It's Leo Messi, so fair enough. It's all good. No big deal, right? Fair play. Guy's a sweaty good FIFA player. Overload ball side, constant pressure. It's all good. You know, this is the caliber of players I'm going to come up against, so there, there's no surprise there, but I just don't have the same gameplay. So it, it's just, it's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Four shots, four goals for him. Cool, man. Really fun gaming experience that was. Amen. Oh, Mama Sita. Okay. Alrighty then. Cool teams. I will say we are coming up against very, like, different squads. Is this guy, like, meaning to go into champs? Uh, sorry, into rivals, but he just went into champs by accident? <laughs> trying to do the icon swaps anyways all right that last game was a little bit tough um but i got beat fair and square so it's all good Well, this game went well. <clears throat> um, I think a quick review of this game, though. I know everything is going to look incredible for this team here, right? Five goals. Um, I think we've conceded, like, one goal out of one shot, potentially. Maybe maybe one goal out of two shots. Um, but I will say, man, I, this game is so bad that it's really hard to review players. Um... For example, there's plenty of instances with such heavy button delay here where Martinelli just walked the ball out of bounds, dude. Just ignored key inputs. Um, and that's another issue with this game is you make plays, but the players take so long to react to the play that the play disappears before your player decides to shoot or before your player decides to pass, right? Same thing that we always talk about. It's really hard to enjoy a competitive game of FIFA when you create a gorgeous opportunity um, that just dies because your player does an extra stutter step for no reason before they shoot, right? The same stuff we talk about all the time. Having said that, 5-1, um, I think we're 6-1 right now with the with the Future Stars squad. Considering I'm using a lot of guys, like, I, I would almost argue out of position, right, in, in awkward areas, um, I'm happy with that, man. I'm actually I'm actually happy with 6-1. and one. That's That's solid to me. That's very, very, very solid. So, we'll take it. I would still say, even though that loss, Mason Mount was terrible in that loss, I would still say I'm in. I'm, I'm most pleasantly surprised by Mount. I think I was worried about his weak foot skills and stuff like that making him not good. As I told you guys, though, when you look at his stats and you put a sniper on him, he looks like he's going to be an incredible cam. Truth of the matter is, is he's an incredible cam. That's very, very good. Keen, 
as always, if the gameplay or your opponent isn't a god or the gameplay isn't completely awful, Keen scores, man. He hit the post a couple times this game as well. Greenwood uh, definitely is playing out of his position at right cam, I would say for sure. But he's still um, doing well. And I would say the one that bodes best for value is Tanali, man. Like, I, I would still assume that Vieira's mid or prime or team of the year Conte are the best DMs in the game. But my God, does this future stars Tanali feel like one of the best CDMs I've ever used. And the biggest problem for me is I'm so in love with him. I have, but I have no idea how I would fit him into my dream team. I have no clue. I have zero knowledge in my brain how I could fit him in. I guess maybe replace Rio with like Maldini and then just use Tanali on eight chem. We could do that. Could try that, potentially. Because I think currently with the way I have him, Tanali wouldn't get chem, would he? Replace Rio with Cannavaro? Could do. I really wanted to keep Rio on the team. Look at those stats, by the way, hey? Anyways, um, GG's. Six and one. We're doing all right. Trying to get ten games done, obviously, for this section of the epi. Either way, it's, you're just going to see everything continuous. Um, but trying to get ten games in. So we still have... Three more games to go, and technically, what is it? Eight more wins needed for uh, for 14. So, solid weekend so far. So, this, oh god. Okay, this is game number eight. Zidane, Baggio, Moments, Bernardo Silva. He's using, and I guarantee. You know what? I use Zambrata at center back, back on the rich man account. In our three five two, we'd move Zambrata into the center back role for a long time. He was really good there, actually. What a game. What a comeback. What a destruction of my opponent. What a destruction of my opponent. Chat was telling me this guy's a stream sniper, but I, I don't know about that. If you guys recognize this guy's gamer tag and this guy's squad um, consistently, then fair play. I, I don't recognize it, but what a sweaty way to play, dude. Dear God, man. That celebration, too, after the Baggio goal, dude. It just... Watching me skip sellies and stuff like that and then having him run off like a pleb, I don't know. It feels extra good beating this guy, man. It feels extra, extra good beating this guy. For sure. His Ter Stegen had 10 saves, first of all. We had to make some emergency changes. I don't know how I score three goals and his Ter Stegen has 10 saves, but whatever, you know, EA will EA. So, Greenwood is the truth. I'll say that right now. I in in the sweaty form that my opponent was playing here, Keen wasn't stacking up, and you can look at Keen's rating as well. So I put Greenwood up top. I had to bring on Mbappe because I don't really have another option. Um, and obviously Mbappe's lights out. Mason Mount playing beautifully. Uh Socrates just was out as out of his depth as well. It was a bit weird. Awar. I hope you guys as well did him because he is also the truth. Bringing on Awar for Socrates is fantastic. And then just to close out the game because uh, not that Kabak had a bad game. He got a 7.5 rating, which is good for a CB, right? Especially considering my center backs pretty much do nothing ever. I just wanted to bring on the, the young gun Tomiyasu for the final uh, half of extra time. And it worked a treat, man. Greenwood with two goals. Mbappe with a goal. Mount with a hat trick of assists. What a player, dude. What a player, and uh, what a result, man. 7-1, and one, I'll take it. Yet another change, boys! Yet another change. So, we've shifted some things around. That last game where things got really crazy, I had to go to extra time against that really, really sweaty guy. 7-1 and one now. 
led me to decide that we got to make the executive decision here. Keen's going to come out as a super sub, and our boy Mason Greenwood's going up top, man. He was just too clutch in that really, really difficult game at striker. So that's exactly where he's going to go. He's on, well, he will soon be on full cam. Those stats are just outrageous, in my opinion, for a striker. I would love for him to have a four-star weak foot, and I would love for him to have high attacking work rates, but other and it would be even better if he was 5'11". I've said it a million times, but outside of that, I'm really excited to use this guy for the rest of the weekend league up front. So we're going to adjust the team a little bit. We picked up yet another guy. He looks all right, too. I don't really know what chem style to use on him because, like, a sniper is wasted in a lot of places. You know, I'm jacking up the, the, the agility for no reason. Balance doesn't need it. But you do want the composure and the reactions to improve. And, and the finishing and attack positioning look fantastic, yet his long shots look terrible. So this is one of those cards where he actually has a couple of uh, stats that are really poor in certain areas that it makes it hard to get a chem style that really makes it work. So for now, we're going to try him um, on a sniper. And he used to have a two-star weak foot. Three-star is still awful, as we all know, but I guess it's an upgrade. He's left-footed, so he is going to be playing in the Lionel Messi role. So we restructured the team a little bit. I actually got rid... <laughs> This is what I love about this series or about this account in general is we can make these sweeping changes and not have to worry, right? We got rid of the doctor, just wasn't cutting it at the left DM attacking role. A lot of you guys are obviously going to say, well, obviously he's not working there for you, but that was the decision I made. Now, this is how we're doing it. Martinelli's going to be on seven chem. Tonali's going to be on seven chem. Uh, Kabak is going to be on, uh, eight cam, everybody else on 10 cam with Greenwood up top. Diaby will be cutting in, in the messy role at right cam. Martinelli, as always, will be in the, you know, in the, in the Neymar, the Mbappe, the Dino role at, re at left cam. Mount both Masons right through the middle. I'm really excited to use them. Nothing else changes. The good thing as well is Alfonso Davies is on full cam as well. So let's get it. I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, the latest and maybe the potentially... The last changes to the full Future Stars uh, squad for FUT Champs. Seven and one. Interesting. It's a, you know, he's got the shadows and stuff like that on the player. So obviously he knows what he's doing. Pretty sweaty team. That's for sure. Let's go, boys. Freaking deserved, man. Get out of here with your garbage style of play. Drop back, counter-attacking weird ass, man. Let's go, boys. Had to make some changes uh, near the tail end of the game, man. Unfortunately, a few players had to come off to make way. Man, Awar is so good, dude. Doesn't matter where you use him. He's just outrageous. <sighs> good stuff, boys. This guy's such a weird play. His best at tackling, tackling and offensive players, like box to box, beast mode, defensive minded players for this guy in this game. You want to take a bet who and a guess who they are? Griezmann and Usman Dembele. AI controlled some of the most outrageous interceptions, lunge blocks, tackles I've ever seen, man. Absolutely fantastic. I, man, if you guys are looking for DMs, Definitely. He subbed off uh, Usman Dembele, but I can guarantee you, man. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Everyone uses Griezmann now as a box-to-box -box mid. Seriously? Is that, like, new? I like Lucas Mora more. Anyways, man. Whatever, bro. Sweaty game, but we've done it. I I, I don't think we're 9-1. in one. I think that's 8-1, in one, boys. That's 8-1. in one. In terms of enjoyment, the team is as good as it's going to be. If that makes any sense. Um, ooh, this guy's got a relatively fun Prem setup. I like that. Dude, that G well, that midfield is ultra sweat. Good lord. Destruction FC. <laughs> the, the team name scares me a little bit. All right. First game of the day, early in the morning. 
I haven't had my coffee, feeling a little bit delusional. I gotta focus up, man, is what I gotta do. I haven't even tweeted that I'm live, bro. Totally forgot to tweet that I'm even live. I, uh, all right, goodness. I don't even want it, dude. Bro. Oni quit! Thank you! I was gonna say, man, how this game was not allowing me to get another goal is mind blowing, dude. How many saves does De Gea have in one half? Five only? Thank you, man. Like, seriously, what was that, bro? Oh my god, I had a feeling, dude. I just I had a feeling. This guy waited until 20 seconds to click through. I don't really know why, but oof. <laughs> That's an outrageous game of FIFA right there. That's an outrageous game of FIFA. Uh, that guy, that tap-in was crazy. I don't think he even deserved to get to that point. The way the ball just, he just ran to the corner, deflected, bounce, 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 and then it ended up in Much his player's lap to you. for a tap-in. That, I, and this is me probably defending myself more than I need, need to, but that was more like crazy cheese that led to that tap-in. Um... And considering I had a lot of good chances, man, Mount should have really put that chance away, dude. Mount really, I, will you guys, I wonder if you guys will see it. This was my fault. This right here, 100% my fault. All my fault. That either needs to be, I, I went for a laces shot far post. That That's just bad composure on my fault. I, I, I can criticize myself here, no problem. Um, now, this needs to be either a near post laces shot, like a power shot, or it needs to be a far post finesse with a hell of a lot more power. And I did, again, I did neither there. So that's on me. Um, was this the Mason Mount chance in front of the net? What a beautiful play though. Genuinely, May I love Mason Mount, man. Considering this guy, for sure an elite player, with this squad, the fact that Mason Mount and Mason Greenwood both had man of the match performances and were lights out is, is fantastic, dude. And, and should go... I know Greenwood didn't score or assist, but he was very good, man. Very, very good. Ten and two, boys. Four more wins to get gold. Uh, to get gold. Three. I'm actually enjoying using this team. It's crazy. Wow, what a cool team, dude. What a cool team, man. Oh, sweet poetic justice, dude. Sweet, sweet, sweet poetic justice against this guy. Wow, bro. What a weird dude.
Dude, how, look at that. Okay, can we look at a couple of these replays of this guy's goal real these this guy's goals real quick too? Because absolutely absurd. This one with um Ben Yetter was insane, man. The angle, I didn't cover that angle because I'm like, well, there's no way he's gonna shoot from here, bro. Look at this. How is Vandersar getting what is that, dude? Someone explain to me how this even happens. That's outrageous for his first goal. Then, again, it's like these kids don't have to use their brains. You just counter. Look at this, by the way. So in the live gameplay, I was screaming here. I'm like, my defenders aren't covering the one guy running. So I select, selected Orzan, but it's too late. And he just, look, this, go, this goal hurts my brain. Okay. Of course, Rio just does nothing. Orzan is now in the middle of nowhere, right? Now, what exactly is this man's weak foot here? Is it too... St Look at that. Not only does he just hit it at the net, he puts it like outwards back spinning into the far side of the corner. That's a two-star weak foot that he hits first time? Under pressure? Excuse me, dude? And it's on a volley. So that's 60 volleys because it's on a volley. That's a volley. That is genuine. Well, it bounced. I don't know. You could consider that a volley or not. But either way, that's a two-star weak foot, bro. But meanwhile, I'm missing like breakaways and open nets with Team of the Year Mbappe and stuff. Nevertheless, we're just talking. We're just explaining, right? Um, we're 11-2 and two right now, which I'm very, 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 very proud of this squad, dudes. And I'm going to give you guys like a mid... Um, a mid review here right at the end of this game because this all this stuff ends up being in the episode right the outros like when the final whistle goes and i talk about the game look at replays all of that stuff should be in this epi for the future stars uh challenge but i think now 11 and 2 we played so many sweats and this team is really fun to use to the point where i'm in love with tonali i'm in love with mason mount i'm in love with mason greenwood i'm in love with aaron's i'm in love with kabak and i can't believe i'm gonna say this i'm kind of disappointed at alfonso davies so far he for me specifically is getting destroyed down this left side of the field and i don't know why i don't if i put fut miss mendy or fut miss or flashback marcelo in this position they don't get burned they do not so i don't know what it is i do not know what it is but i'm having big troubles with alfonso davies down the left side of the field he's out of position all the time exactly and considering his defensive awareness is 96 bro i don't get it i i don't i don't understand on what part of the his composure is 83 too I don't know what it is. I do not know what or why. It maybe it's the high high work rates, but like I use Marcelo high low and he's always in position all the time. All the time. You would think Marcelo would be 10 times worse and would be out of position at every second of every minute of every moment, but he's not. He's not at all. So I, I don't know what the deal is. I'm, I, I am very biased, obviously. Pride of Canada, of course. So I'm going to keep using him. But, and, and then the biggest disappointments for me are, I mean, I guess it's not too much of a shock. This guy's pretty terrible. I'm not going to lie. Very one-dimensional. And this guy isn't even worth 200K, let alone the 800K I paid. And God help me, I'm sure I'm not helping his price. His price is probably 7, 600K or whatever it is right now. This guy, to me is so one-dimensional he's barely worth 200k he's got good stats but the key stats of him are so poor that it overshadows all the good stats his composure is so low that it doesn't matter that he has almost 99 finishing when a defender breathes on him from 10 yards away and he loses his mind and skies every pass or every shot to nowhere 
Then you talk about his medium medium work rates where you have to force him into runs. Then you talk about his three star weak foot, which means he's so one dimensional. You can do nothing with his left foot other than the fluky goal I scored near the start of foot champs. Then you talk about his skill moves and you can do the same generic boring stuff that people start reading properly. Ball rolls and drag backs and fake shots. So he's poor dudes and it's EA's fault, really, unfortunately. There's no way that on the track that this kid is on, that Martinelli would be this bang average as a footballer going forward. There's, he's not even this bang average right now at his age. So, I don't know. Disappointing. All right, 11 and 2. Oh, God. Los Angeles, RM Madrid. Okay, this is going to be... This is, this is where my nerves are going to start getting destroyed. What a team, man. Let's go, boys. Good game, man. Fight fire with fire sometimes, dudes. This guy's overloading ball, ball side, counterattacking, doing that cheesy ass celebration after scoring his first shot. Um, yeah. GG, boys. Big results here with this team, man. Big, 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 big results. Um, Greenwood, what's what what's what's left to say about this guy? What's left to say about this guy? Two goals and an assist against that type of a squad with team of the year de Bruyne and all of that stuff incredible man incredible martinelli as always useless beyond belief um you know diaby useless beyond be belief uh i took off mount not really because mount wasn't playing well i just needed a little bit uh of a switch up so i thought to bring on odegaard odegaard was awful as well martinelli with a 7.5 rating man but he really did absolutely nothing anyways very good performance very, very happy with how we played, man. 12 and 2 right now. Oof. All right. This is going to be a, <laughs> a fun experience. Love it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. I think that was a deserved win. That was a very good FIFA player, for sure. The way I win that game is ridiculous, I would say. This guy wasn't a an annoying FIFA player either. He scored his goal and skipped the replay. I scored my goals and skipped the replay. The only reason I watched the second replay was because, dude, like the chances I've created here, man, were incredible. Like, will it show? Will it sh watch this. Watch this. Head that back into space with the knowledge as well here. I head that to mount and hold LT circle because that's the only option I have. Like I'm being creative. I'm being dynamic. I'm doing everything I can and I can't score like beautiful plays like that. You know, this is gorgeous too. Taking that shot from that angle, heading that back LT circle there. Don't get rewarded. But then you do this. Great shot. Keeper saves it onto the crossbar and then the game's like, okay... We'll hand you the goal. We'll hand you the win here. It's like EA, EA were the ones that decided the outcome of this game. Again, the game's like, okay, no, this game sucks. What even is this, dude? The game's like, no, 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 no. Like this, we, we, we know we screwed up all game. We'll give you the win here. Here you go. Enjoy the win, dude. Amazing. So I'm glad, obviously. I'm not complaining about winning. I'm just saying 
Yet one of those things in, in FIFA, why I think if you ever needed to understand why you get so frustrated with the game, it's because the sensible, beautiful football that you create will get wonder saved or your players will miss it stupidly. And then just some random dumb chance like that you score. It's like even when you win off of something like that, you feel a little bit dirty about it, right? Anyways, one win left. I'm not going to say one game left, but one win left needed to get and complete this Future Stars Foot Champs Challenge. Um, and so far, 13-2 and two is absolutely fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. Stars of the show, easily, Tanali, Greenwood, and Mason Mount. Stars, man. Absolute stars. Or you don't have a, a Virgil van Dyke and you want something a little bit original, that David Luiz is incredible. Oh! Wait! Did we do it? Finally! Oh! It's just... Yes! We got one of the ones I wanted! Let's go, boys! Let's go! Bit cringy, of course, because this is the whatever dude account, but that's the one we wanted, dude! Let's go! I got the only player, well, one of the few players that I want to keep in my club as a first owner. Can't be any better than that, dudes. He's going to be our cam in the Prem for a very long time, dude. And it was a mega pack that did it, boys. All right. Well, for science, seemed to work again, dudes. Wow. Um, Do that, do that. That's extinct. Oh, 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 you love to see it. You just love to see it. All right, swap with the one I have in the club. And then we're absolutely going to sell off this one as well. How much is he going for anyways? All right, well, before we sell, let's have a final look at his stats because unfortunately, we might only have two or three games left with this squad. So it's important to note, uh, 15 games with this dude, nine goals, eight assists. To me is amazing man 17 goal contributions in 15 games in sweaty gameplay laggy gameplay as a central cam he is 100 the real deal especially with a sniper so even my pack pulled one we're gonna toss a sniper on him man and i mean the good thing is okay we've lost a little bit of money on him but not much so he's like 370 something so yeah absolutely fantastic i couldn't recommend this card anymore man i'm obviously not doing it to keep the coins in him or keep the value in him I'm trying to give you guys as much of a honest opinion as i can at the start of the weekend we all thought well you know is he going to be good yeah a lot of his stats look good especially with a sniper he looks like he'll be a fantastic cam but he does have a you know a three-star skill move set you know is he going to play to his stats and i can absolutely confirm that he really really does We'll see. Depends if I can uh, get get it all sorted out. Nah. Nah. Another one of the ones that I wanted. Oh my god, the pack gods are shining down on us, dudes. I love science, dude. I love it. I love science so much, bro. What the heck, man? What is that? In in another, what is it? Two packs later? Two packs later? Don't worry, you're gonna you're gonna pack him at this rate, bro. I it's a mega pack again. Back to back mega packs. <clears throat> Ollie Molly. Absolutely, there. Well, whoever said mega packs are are amazing. My God, were you ever correct? I love this guy, dude. He's so good, man. He is so, so good. So again, before we get rid of him, let's have a look at his stats. <laughs> Perfect. Could I ask for any better? 15 games, no yellow cards, no red cards. 200k bought for. I think he's skyrocketed in price now because of that uh, McKenny or whatever. Incredible card. I My recommendation is you use him with an anchor. He's got great dribbling stats, very usable short and long passing. He's just fantastic, man. He really, really, really is fantastic. And then taking his aggression to 90 is unreal. Interceptions to 94, you know, sprint speed to 85, acceleration to 83. You guys that run Bundesliga teams got to be so happy with like what original cool players you got, man. This is another one of those guys. So we made like 150k profit on him.
I think. He's like 350, right? Something like that right now? Uh, so I'm gonna do... I'll just do that. If that's undercut, it's undercut, man. <clears throat> For sure. Oh, 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 wow. Lost Tankazitos? Bro, what is that? What a nice team, dude. I'm assuming he'll swap around and probably put Zambrotta at center back. Zambrotta being 5'11", actually, and a five-star weak foot, it's actually a semi-decent CB. I don't know how if I manage to win this I don't know how I've done this this has genuinely been about three second button delay all game long and then dealing with a guy that lateral passes how many passes did this guy make between his goalkeeper and his center backs wow well I guess one good bit of news is the FUD champs future stars uh, edition of the challenges uh is done we got 14 wins gold three took three losses uh i would say all three of our losses were pretty harsh but hey we probably won a couple of games as well that uh were very very close so i'm very proud of our future stars boys they've done well the fact that i'm coming out of wins with like gameplay like this i am very 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 happy with myself man very very happy and very happy with the team that was terrible i was just someone that was happy to pass around the back all game long the fact that i'm a very high possession oriented player creating a lot of opportunities and this guy still had 48 percent possession you can imagine just how much he passed it around the back nevertheless gold three secured so for the first FUD Champs Challenge, Squad Builder Challenge of the year for us, 14-3. and three. Is that going to be a good record? Is that going to be a staple for the future? We don't know, right? Um, we're not entirely sure. It could, it could be. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see where things go. Really, really nice for this, um, for this video and for this weekend to also then pack two of my favorite players. So to pack Mason Mount and then to pack... Um, Kabak as well has been very, very nice. A nice, you know, uh, what is it? Cherry on top of the entire weekend. So as promised for you guys at the end of all of this, I did want to give you guys a highlight on each and every single one of the players. This is the final squad that we use. This is the team that we ended up using for the lion's share of games. I want to show you guys the formation we ended up using, um, with the tactics we ended up using the entire time. Um, I, I think... I, I'm undecided on what I want to do with my attacking setup here. Um, I, I, I'm not sure. I'm doing right now press after possession loss and balanced. I don't know if it's the best move. I, I still think maybe press after possession loss and possession could be better. I haven't really figured that one out. But this is the squad. Greenwood moving up to striker was uh, definitely a masterstroke for sure. Very, very happy with that move. Mason Mount 
absolutely incredible as a central cam. Uh, Martinelli out wide, Diaby out wide, Gerrard and Tonali. I mean, one of the worst performers of this entire weekend was Steven Gerrard. So that goes to show you how well these Future Stars players um, worked out. Davies, uh, Kabak, Ferdinand, and Aaron's at the back. So just to give you guys a mini review of the entire, uh, of each player, I'll say this right now. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. At right DM, this Tonali, I would have to argue in terms of the players I've used this year is the best DM I've used, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, 17 games played to get to 14 wins, four assists. But at the end of the day, we all know what he's there for. He's there to shut down attacks. The amount of crazy good squads but good fifa players we came up against and he did everything so well very very happy with him the only downside of course is that insane price tag but when you consider the other top top dms in the game i.e team of the arcante and middle or prime viera he's actually a bargain and the fact that he's italian and in the Serie A, i mean he's a top three dm absolutely for me as of right now probably the best dm i've used in the game to the point where i'm very tempted to keep him i like him that much even though i've got calvin phillips i've got this guy's league sbc card if i really wanted him at dm i've liked him so much that i'm tempted to keep him now for the dream team and then maybe calvin phillips goes on to the bench which is a little bit blasphemous but i'm thinking about it uh, moving on from there greenwood as the striker i was having a lot of trouble with moise keen after about five games, so once you start, once you're at an ELO where you're going to start playing against people that, you know, it's not just random, they're not terrible, they've got a good record as well, then the real nitty gritty starts to come into it. And Moise Keane, I'll, I'll go more on him later, but he just doesn't stand up to the ultra sweaty, um, you know, try hard players. This Greenwood, and I'll, I've said it how many times, right? But I'm going to say it again. How many times this weekend have I said this? If they got him at his right height of 5'11", and if they treated us with making him like high medium in terms of work rates, this would probably go down as my favorite striker to use this year. I, I To the point where I'm even thinking maybe we move on from team of the year Mbappe and use this guy somehow at striker, but I don't know. I, I, I might cash out just for the sake of being able to build different squads, but he was that fun. He was that fun. Lights out, five-star weak foot. His left foot is insane. Of course, with the sniper chem style, he's outrageous, right? 99 finishing, 96 attack positioning, 99 agility, 88 balance, 90 reactions, uh, 91 ball control, 99 dribbling, 94 composure, 90 stamina. Can, I could go on, man. 98 heading, 80. I mean, he didn't score a single header, but he played his first, what, eight games out wide, I think? Eight or nine games out wide. And then we put him inside and uh, at striker, and he still managed 12 goals and five assists, man. 17 goal contributions in 17 games. Now, is he again worth the 1.4 mil? That I don't know. All these future stars cards are very, very, very overpriced. But I, what I would say at the very least is he's he's worth the money spent. You're not spending the 1.4 mil, unlike someone else I'll be touching on very soon. You're not spending the 1.4 mil thinking, dude, what, man? This guy isn't even worth 300k. Like, he's very good. Would I say he's probably fairly should be 5, 6, or 700k? Yeah, but English, Man United, young super talent, uh, part of the Premier League. An outrageous card overall. That's what gives you that 1.4 million price tag. But anyways, I loved using him. Definitely one of my favorite players uh, from this Future Stars challenge. Uh, Diaby was horrendous. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. He was terrible. I would say this entire weekend, I was having the biggest difficulty with my wide cams. I thought Diaby was awful. I didn't have much else to trade him uh, to change him up with. Mason Mount, as you guys would have seen a quick little highlight, but we're talking 17 games. He had... 15 games, he had 17 goal contributions. So, 17 games, 17 goal contributions from Mason Mount over our weekend league run. And to the point where I was going to keep that one that I had in, you know, purchased for 400k. Now we got him pack pulled. I'm not selling this card. Unless I get a better version of Mount, if that's even possible. This guy's most likely going to be locked up in the, in this account's folklore. He's that good. I really, really like him. Couldn't recommend him anymore. I actually don't know what chem style I like more because he was banging some beautiful shots on uh, Maestro, but I, I yeah, I'm not sure. I think Sniper as a central cam is probably still the right move. Boosting his composure, boosting his balance, getting that finishing because my cam gets into quite a lot of finishing opportunities. I'm thinking maybe that's the, that's the right play. A lot of people are saying use Marksman on him. 
which is not a bad idea. I know it's kind of wasting physical stats, but you do get finishing and you get shot power with Marksman. And you also get, um, you know, the dribbling boosts that you would get from a Maestro. So maybe we'll, we'll keep testing him out on a Maestro. We've got all the icon swaps to do and all that stuff. So I'll be using this guy a lot over the next couple of weeks. Um, and we'll test out the chem styles. But hey, if you're looking at getting them and you want to get them fresh, what a card, man. What a card. Now, going into one of the disappointments and a lot of people are going to say oh but you were really mad at this card at the beginning you were saying he's going to be trash so it's like confirmation bias you really didn't like him dudes i'm going to i'm going to try and give you guys the positives first on this gabriel um martinelli okay first of all his pace is blistering so he's very very fast there's no lies there with his pace he's absolutely rapid his shooting um like his actual shooting if you can get him into a position is actually very good as long as defenders are about 10 feet or more away from him like if he's in open space his shooting is absolutely fantastic unfortunately that is genuinely where it ends in terms of the positives because there's so much negative with this card that it's really annoying and i'm sorry if i've ruined his price i'm sorry to myself if i've caused his price to i don't think i have that effect on the market but if i do oh well for eight hundred thousand coins you would expect this card to be four star, four star, high medium work rates, etc. You don't even get that. Medium, medium is so infuriating on a wide player. He just stands around. I wish I could get clips for you guys of the amount of times he's like makes a run into space. As I go to load the pass, he stops running. And then the ball goes to the center back because of button delay, etc. I can't change my mind after I'm mid animation, he stops running. It's infuriating. So the medium, medium is a big problem. Um, the three star, three star, as you would expect is horrifying. And more importantly, the three star, three star is such a problem out wide. Greenwood is a three star skill move player as well, but because the striker ends up getting the ball where all you have to do is like cut inside and shoot. You don't need skills too much at striker the way I play the game. Maybe the way other players play the game, other pros play the game. They want skills left, right, and center. Your striker being able to do a fake shot stop, a ball roll, uh, that sprint fake shot, uh, a drag back. That's all you really need at striker in my 4-1-2-1-2 setups and my 4-2-3-1 uh, setups. Out wide though, you need to be unpredictable. You need to do a multitude of skills, you know, Burba spins, you know, Ronaldo chops, all of this stuff, right? Running scoop turns, all of that to try and beat your, the, the wing backs or your, really the AI, because obviously most people don't even control their defenders. And having three star skills, only being able to do fake shot, fake shot stop, ball roll and drag backs, you become very predictable because your opponents know that that's all they have to defend with this uh, Martinelli. And that's what happened in the game. Number two, the fact that he has a three-star weak foot if all, all across the field is terrible. But again, in that position, you need minimum of a four-star weak foot because you need to be unpredictable. If you cut into a space with Martinelli on his left foot, you just can't shoot with him. I scored one outrageously dumb goal this entire weekend with Martinelli across body with his weak foot. But other than that, he was horrifying on his weak foot. So the three-star three-star is terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I, it's just such a hard card to use. Then you go into the stats, and I swear it blows my mind still how they could have given this guy 60 composure, but 64 reactions also ends up being really annoying because, again, if the ball is anywhere in his vicinity, half the time he takes, like, two or three seconds to even realize the ball's there. He's just... He seems brain dead. It, there's just no intelligence, no AI at all in this card. Number two, how many times did I put martinelli in front of the net but there's a defender like even two yards away he could just hear the defender's breath and would freak out and sky the ball into outer space whereas if you put greenwood into that position or mount into that position they bang the goal every single time so he still did score and still did get assists um so he did a few things but i think the biggest issue is absolutely the composure the three star three star those are the three main problems very similar to when he was released what i said it was um, but the other big problem is the price tag. I, I, people are saying he's like 700 K or 600 K or whatever he is now. I would not even pay 300 K for this card. And all, all right, I've, I've now lit at least 200 K on fire for this card. I would not even pay 200 K for this guy. I, I, I wouldn't, I'm sorry. 
the work rates, the weak foots, the composure are far too important. I'm telling you, if you're an Arsenal fan, you want to build a fun Arsenal squad, you're Brazilian, whatever. Sure, you can still get stuff. You can get results and you can do okay with Martinelli. But when it comes to competing, once you get to the 5-0, and 8-0, and 9-0, and or 9 ELO or whatever it is in champs, or you get into D4, D3, D2... This guy's going to really, really struggle, man. And for that price tag, go get yourself Neymar or something. I know it's unoriginal, but that's my thoughts on it. Moving on, Alfonso Davies. I know everybody wants me to say that I love this card. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He does not feel good. He feels like this is what, this is, this is my best description for Alfonso Davies. And I'm not going to go into any more, any more detail about it because it breaks my heart. Look at those stats. 97 sprint speed 99 acceleration 99 standing tackle 91 defensive awareness 81 interceptions 89 aggression 85 strength this card feels like last year's future star alfonso davies if i would try and force last year's card at left back on 4 chem he just seems lost he just seems like he's like dude what am i doing here you did, uh, constantly out of position, constantly in the, in the weirdest situations. We tried him on a guardian. We've tried him on a, a anchor. I'm so disappointed. And you know what? Everybody's telling me I'm insane, that this guy's actually good for them. So I'm going to keep using him. Obviously, I love the guy. So I will keep trying him over the next couple of weeks. He'll be in the main squad. He'll be in a lot of different squads. He'll be in our Bundesliga team. I'm never going to get rid of him. But as of right now, my review on him is eh. Flashback Marcelo and Funtmas Mendy by far are better wingbacks. Dare I say even baby Roberto Carlos is better than this Alfonso Davies right now. I don't know what the deal is. So that's my review on Davies as of right now. Eh. If I were to do a singular player review, it would be a 30 second video of eh. And then move on. If you want a proper review, go check Marshall or Zway or whoever releases, you know, long form reviews of specific players. Moving on, Kabak is a god. I love the guy so much. So happy that I got him 17 games, no yellows, no reds. Incredible player. Obviously two games on the on the the pack pulled version. I love the guy, man. On an anchor, he's just astounding. He actually is absolutely astounding. Amazing composure, amazing reactions, amazing short pass, amazing long pass. He feels like a road to the final Militao. He really 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 does. Um and for 200k well now he's like 300k or 350k again has not surely it has nothing to do with me i think a lot of people are just first of all realizing he's very good second of all the bundesliga is just getting really cool with all the special players Mc, uh, mckinney or whatever now gets a strong link to him he looks like the hullet or the viera of the bundesliga so there's a lot of really cool players now coming into the bundesliga so i think people are just jumping on him um anyways moving on from there aaron's here's the opposite Everybody told me Alfonso Davies was going to be crap. I said he's going to be amazing. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody told me this Aaron's is an awful card. He is a top five right back, in my opinion, as of right now. 98 agility, balance, composure, reactions is a little bit of a letdown at 80, but that is it. That, that's the only complaint I have on this guy. 17 games played no yellows no reds okay he doesn't contribute as much as a zambrata would for goals and assists but uh dude the 91 aggression i didn't notice his strength lack of strength or lack of jumping or lack of heading lights out good card now again is he worth 120k or maybe now he's 80k or something i don't know you could probably go get yourself a cancelo and not even feel a difference for 20k or 30k but i i loved him was pleasantly surprised with him now moving into the the back line Again, Keen was fun to use for the first three or four games. He got all those stats from the first three or four games. After that, I couldn't do anything. At halftime, I had to sub on Greenwood up top and then bring on another player. So he's a fun card, but EA again let us down in my opinion. Work rates aren't the end of the world, but definitely the three-star weak foot is a big problem at striker, man. Again, he's just too predictable. You look on paper and his stats look fantastic, but he just, I don't know. In the current meta of FIFA, he just doesn't cut it in terms of the high-level competitive gameplay. Um, Awar, thank you guys for all telling me to get him. He's fantastic. I know he's not technically a future star, but he's a young player and uh, absolutely amazing. Stevie G would come off every single game at halftime or by the 50th minute for Awar. Awar outshone Stevie G all weekend. So that was a nice uh, discovery. Sorry I haven't used McKenny yet. I'd love to give you guys a little bit of a review on him. As of right now, I haven't used him. So hopefully at a later date, I can give you a bit of a review on him. 
uh, Hernandez, whatever, who cares? Tamiyasu is a god. And then Odegaard, you know, we're just working on the future stars Odegaard. So that's the end of the uh, future stars Fut Champ Squad Builder Challenge. It's a mouthful, but that is what it is. If you enjoyed this long form video, highly edited, took days to put all together, smash the like button, dudes. I, I would love to get an understanding, at least within the comment section. I'm going to have a conversation with my Twitch viewers as well about what they think about this weekend and this squad builder and this challenge. I hope they had as much fun with this challenge live on stream as I did doing this challenge because I'd like to continue doing this um, more more often. So this might be the last video you guys see from me, last stream you guys see from me essentially as well because I don't think anybody's home. I'm planning on booking a surprise vacation away for uh, me, Steph, and the kids as of tomorrow to just go away for a week. It's horrible. It's going to snow in Vancouver again, I think, tomorrow. So just waking up and being able to tell the kids, hey, we're not going to school. You know, we're going to go here. Um, I've always dreamt of being able to do that. And thanks to your guys' support, uh, I I can do that. Well, Amazon and, and Twitch's support as well. So, um, yeah. God bless you guys. I love you. If I don't see you for another week or so, hopefully I come back with a tan and come back, you know, uh, revitalized and rejuvenated and still as excited as I am right now with FIFA because right now I'm so sad that people aren't are, are, are unhappy with what I'm doing on my channel with ending the road to glory and doing what I want to do but I've I, I've never been happier doing FIFA content live on stream and the occasional thing that we do for YouTube so God bless you all and as always we'll catch you on the flip side peace